Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Excel Video 123. I've traded places. The chart we worked on last time, I put that below and I moved the new chart up above. I've thrown a note out here for goal with the text box and another average text box out here. What I want to do is show you how to add series to a chart and then change the, the, the type of that series, the chart type. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight average here and just control C to copy. I'm going to click inside the chart and control V to paste and I can add that to the chart. And I'm going to copy goal, come over here, control V and paste it. So now there, my, uh, my chart keeps getting higher. It's not really, it is still kind of floating, I guess, but it, let me hit the escape key to get rid of that. Let me show you how to make this a line instead of adding to our column. What I did is I selected the series and you can see I've got every one of them selected and then I'm going to right click and change series chart type. So I'm not going to change the chart type of the entire series. I'm going to leave a stacked column for most of the chart. And I'm going to, let's just do this one. Let's do line and click OK. So now I've got the average as a line and all my other series are in the stacked column. So I'm going to do the same thing. Right click, change series chart type. We'll make that a line as well. And now what I have is I have my floating chart with kind of this reddish pinkish column going on and floating there. I can see my goal. I can see on Tuesday my low hit my goal, but I haven't been there since. And I can see the average all on one chart. Particularly if you're dashboarding and you're, and you're uh, short on space, it helps to be able to put multiple pieces of data on one chart. One way to do that is to be able to put both lines and columns or lines and bars or whatever it is you're trying to chart on the same chart. And that's how to do it. And that's all I wanted to show you today. Easy way to copy and then paste it onto the chart. Once it's on the chart, right click it, change the chart series type for that series. You're good to go. That's what I wanted to show you today. Stay tuned next time and we'll do something else kind of a little fancy with charts. Thanks for watching.